Hey guys, how to make a simple HTTP request using OK HTTP? It's pretty simple, let's go! First, we need to enable an internet in our project, go to manifests, Android manifest.xml, and here write users permission, Android permission internet, and close, and close the tag. That's OK. Next, go to the layout. Resources layout activity main.xml, split the code, and let's add the ID to our text view. ID plus ID XML text view. Go to the main activity Kotlin file and let's find our text view. Create text view variable, find it by ID, type as text view where resources.id.xml text view. OK. Next, we need an HTTP client. To do this, go, go to Gradle scripts, then build Gradle model file. And here, let's add the OK HTTP library. We can copy the implementation on this official site. We need this row, copy it. I will leave this link in the description, paste here, and let's edit it. Delete parentheses and update the version before sync now and after let's change to newest version and sync again. It's good, return to our main activity file. Let's create a client variable, client equals OK. HTTP client. Next, let's create the URL with our HTTP request. I will use a website with test P. Scroll down and we have a test request. Test request URL address with a JSON response. Let's copy this URL, paste the first part of URL and copy the second part of the URL. Paste it here. Let's edit it. That's OK. I will leave this link in the description. Next, let's create the request. For this, let's use request method OK HTTP library. Then we need to use a builder with brackets. Next, let's add the URL function with our URL variable. And finally, Let's build it. Next, let's create a request with client, client dot new. We haven't new call method because we have created the client incorrectly. Let's add parentheses. And now we have new call. Request is request, then dot and q, create the object, call back, then curly braces, object is not abstract. Let's help the object implement members on failure and on response. OK. In on failure function, let's catch the error. Error dot print stack trace and on response. If response dot is successful, then run the thread and let's get a request instead of a text. Text view dot text equals response dot body dot to string. Let's check. We haven't the JSON. Let's let's edit our code. I have a mistake. Not to string, but string. And we need to add non null assorted call. Let's try once more. Run the app, and we have the full JSON response. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for the watching. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Have a good coding. See you soon.